How's it going? Just thought I'd do a update on the 25th of December. It's Christmas for some, so happy Christmas to you all. Um, thought we'd start up around the house here. So the mint is going really well. Can't really complain. It's it's starting to bounce back from the heat. I actually found there was a blockage in one of these wet pot lines, so that's all been fixed up and the water's flowing a lot better now. As a result, the penny royals bounce back. We've got a 34 degree day planned here. So it's already feeling rather warm this morning. It's only about 11 o'clock. This purple flesh sweet potato has gone crazy. It's gone all the way through here, over the back. Uh, starting to go down underneath the water tank in there. So everything else up here in the little wet pot garden is going all right. Cannot complain at all. So, oh, I also have some wing beans. My three wing beans have come up. We've got one seedling, two seedling, and three on that side just over there. So very happy with that. They'll be going out in the back bed where the spaghetti squash is fairly soon, hopefully. I've done a bit of a tidy up for um, Christmas Day and the like, having some people over. So up in here, IBC beds are going all right. The zucchini's finally taking off. These snake beans, I've actually let a whole heap go to seed, so they're actually right to come off today. I'll pick them off soon. So we'll take them off now, and giving you an impromptu saving snake bean clip. So there you go. There's your snake bean pods, and along them you'll get little lumps. Behind these little lumps, you have dried snake bean seeds, and. You pop them out and it's as easy as that. Really easy to save bean seeds. You just let them dry on the bush. Let the um, the shells go all crunchy and then just pop them out. So those guys there will be planted out again. We're actually going to plant another crop this year. I find when we let them set seed, the vines start to slow down their production. So what I'll do is I'll get as many seeds off these as I can. There's a couple over here that are ready to pick off and save the seeds from. And we'll continue to get a couple. We'll start picking beans off here again. But what I'm going to do is plant some of these seeds out in another bed. And once they start producing, I'll just pull these guys out. This bed here will then just get a rest. I'll leave the marigolds in here. I'll give it a massive dose of molasses and water to knock any nematodes on the head. So, and then we'll just feed her up and we'll put another crop in. So probably feed him up with some worm casts and some horse manure. We'll see how they go. Got four bags of nice horse manure over there, just waiting to go into beds. Um, this is my little purchase I made at the local markets. It's actually a grey water collection and it's got a little bilge pump in there. Um, your grey water goes in there from your washing machine and then you pump it out on your lawns. It's something they sold during the drought here a couple of years ago. So I picked it up for a song at the market, so I'm going to repurpose that over here. This little watermelon looks like it's doubling in size every day. Really impressed with that. That's a little mini Lee watermelon that's sort of taken over this area here. Kakais, we're just letting these guys ripen up. Then they're coming out, but they're going all right. Over here we have some white turmeric that is shot. A couple of them. And I also have to thank you, thank AD very much, AD and Steve. They got me a moringa tree at the market, so... This little sucker here is going to be grown for food as well as mulch purposing. So, very happy I got that. Thank you very much, Adi and Steve. I really appreciate that. I have um, some pigeon pea here that really should have gone out ages ago. I've got a couple of places I want to plant these. They're for mulch again. I have a capsicum ripening up, and guess what? No fruit fly strike. But I'll show you why in a minute and why I think. We have some tomatoes in there, we have a black Russian that's finally bouncing back and some KY1 determinant varieties in there. Over here, the little dumple it's not looking too crash hot, it's got a few fruit on. So what I've done is I've planted another one over there. And just down in there we have some perpetual spinach. We have visitors arrived so I'll make, get a wriggle on. Pineapple's going excellent, got a couple of suckers off there, not ready to harvest though. A chook. We got a new chook. Um, fish. Can I say hello, fish? Hello, fish. They're doing all right. Oh, bit of a glare. Cleaned out that aquaponic bed. Uh, system seems to be tickling, tickling, ticking along nicely. Needs a bit of an iron fix up again, but we'll look after that later today. Over here, turmeric's going well. Carrots are going well. Might be harvesting a couple of them today. This. 
um, sweet potato. The leaves are looking rather sad, so we'll just see what happens with him. I'm not expecting a great deal to come out of there. Lemongrass is booming. Down in here we have some strawberries. A little red flower strawberry survives. So I'm happy about that. Tickled pink. We've got a couple of strawberries on, but not enough for our pavlova today, so we went and bought a punnet. Got a couple of volunteer eggplants in here. Always good to see them. We'll see what varieties they are, and if they're ones we want to keep, we'll let them go, because these strawberries should stop producing soon. Got some cucumbers. Got three or four ripe ones in here. They're going into a cucumber salad in about, ooh, as long as it takes me to shoot this. As you can see, I've also tidied up the patch a bit, cleaned the floor, or the ground. Uh, the baby bears harvested three of them. We've got some sitting up in a container for tonight's dinner. We're going to have a Thai pumpkin and prawn soup. I'll post a recipe if anyone's interested. Over there, the spices are doing all right. Chookies are doing all right. Um, everything down in there is doing all right. And got some manky compost tea under there. The, com the comfrey was looking a bit sick, so I made up some compost tea for it. Fishies in here are doing really well. We've taken the cover off this. Probably not gonna see a single fish now. There's some up in there. they blue eyes, very hard to catch. And we've got all the others as well. Some of the little um, white tails, but anyway. Carrots are doing excellent. Really impressed with this mixed heritage batch. They do a lot better than any of the other seeds we've had around here. I think we'll be having some fresh tomatoes today. And down the back there, we have some more tomatoes that all need to be picked. Uh, what you can see there in the background is my new fruit fly baiting stations. I have one there. I have one there. This is the Eco Natural Oil ones. I have one here. I have one up at the aquaponics and I also have one under the house for those chilies over there. So it's been up about three, four days now and I've left a couple of peppers or capsicums out and they haven't been hit yet. So I'm fairly happy with that. I think it may actually be working because whenever the capsicums were forming, they were getting hit. So we'll just see what happens. It's a mixture of the lure and it's a little gel and it comes and you mix it up with some water and you just paint it on there. So it's pretty easy to do. But anyway, there's a quick little walk around the patch. Everything in here is doing all right. I'll show you something in there. There's a little sneak peek, water chestnuts. I'll just show you in here quickly. Ah, being attacked. Got a few little eggplants coming on in this one, finally. He had a bad attack of the aphids and he looks like he's got some sort of mite attacking him at the moment. So, gonna prune back the infected branches, which is good. It'll give us two producing branches at the back there. But anyway, that's a different story. Sean, your um, Bigelokis are going all right. And over here, we've already harvested one, but we have chocolate capsicums. Look at that. Unblown whole capsicums. That one there is going in the cucumber salad. I better pick him now, actually. So, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. So everything in here is doing really well. Bull's bloods. Their beetroots, and there's a whole heap of capsicums down in here, nice big ones. Over here, we have a monster bull's horn. Oh, you can't see him just over the back there, a monster bull's horn. So, everything's going fantastic in here. I'll just show you this this is our white basil, or oh, sorry, our sweet basil from last year. And then we have the opal basil, and then they crossed last year and they've made us uh, like a pink basil, which is a cross between the two. So, I've found that very interesting we sort of these are all seeds we've saved from a couple of different plants last year so obviously they've crossed so it's not a good idea if you want to grow true to type basil to keep them all in one area so so that's a real quick little walkthrough happy Christmas to all if you celebrate if not um, I don't really care I hope you have a good one anyway um, I'm not biased in any way next couple of clips will just be little jobbies around the place I'm doing I think um, so if you feel like having a look at how we do a few different things around the place, um, tune in and have a look. If not, have a great one and take it easy. Catch all.